Okay, so today I'm here to do a get ready with me on this look. It's basically bronzy and freckly, and I know I've done looks like this before, but I'm doing another one. I recently uploaded a picture of me wearing this look on Instagram, but I didn't like film a get ready with me for it, and like I feel like a lot of people liked it, so I just thought I'd recreate it for you today. And I also kind of show you how to do my giant bun because someone asked for it once and I thought okay I'll show you it takes 0.2 seconds but if you want to see how I got this look then just keep watching okay so I'm gonna start with the Laura Geller brow sculpting marker in the shade soft charcoal I normally don't show me doing my brows but this is like super fast whenever I use this <laughs> as you can tell it doesn't do much it just like slightly darkens my eyebrows it's really like easy and fast to use and when I use this I can still see all of the brow hair strokes of my tattoo, my tattooed on brows, so I like that. So what I usually do with this is just sloppily run it through the brows a few times. Sometimes I'll like wait a few minutes in between so that the first layer can dry. I think that I need like a new one of these, but I still like what it does because it makes my brows look like natural kind of. Kind of hairy. Okay, moving on to eyes. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the shade Minor Sin. This one is very bronzy and satiny. It's really pretty, but it just never wants to come out of this freaking packaging. Like, I feel like when I'm wiping it on my eyes, like, barely anything is coming off. So do you like my band-aided, band-aided finger? It's been band-aided. <laughs> uh, I ripped off my freaking fingernail yesterday, the day before. I don't know but uh it was like an acrylic nail and I ripped it off and oh my god it freaking hurt and it like made my fingers start bleeding and everything I only have one that's still stuck on that I, I just don't want to take the time to get off but it'll be off soon I can tell it's lifting it's almost ready so I'm gonna take the Lorac Pro Contour and use the beige highlight shade which isn't really a highlight it's matte but I'm using this to set the eyes like I always do Okay, so I'm going to take the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Eye Contour Palette <laughs> and use this shade right here. His name is Latinus, and this one is the only shade I'm going to use on my whole eye. So I'm going to start by packing it on with this brush all over the lid. Then I'm going to take this, this fluffy brush and put it into the crease and just blend it up quite far because I like it very blown out. Okay, can we just say, excuse um, the septum ring that I have in, it's an eyebrow ring. The one I had in that was really big was annoying the shit out of me, so I put this tiny one in, but it just like either it goes really far to this side or it goes really far to this side. I don't even know if you can see it because it's black, so it kind of looks like a shadow, but then it like just, it hangs wrong, but I'm too lazy to change it. So whenever I did this look, I didn't have on any false lashes. Okay, so I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and just like put on a bunch of coats and maybe use like the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara, I don't know, and just try to make my lashes look as voluminous and large as they can because in reality, they are so fucking small, they're almost non-existent. So yeah, I'm gonna do that off camera so that it's not like a waste of time to watch. Okay, so I've got some mascara on. It's not very much compared to my normal lashes that I would wear, but we're gonna go without today, so it's fine. Okay, so I'm ready to prime my face. I'm sorry, I feel like I cannot talk right because I bit the shit out of my mouth yesterday like 50 times and it is like swollen and I keep almost biting it again and it's not fun. But anyway, for primer, I'm gonna use the NYX First Base Primer Spray. I really like this stuff. <laughs> not really sure if it does much, but I think the simplicity of it is what I like. I really, really, really need to wash my makeup brushes. Oh my God. I just like didn't even put anything on this and completely covered my tattoo with like old foundation. So I'm slightly waiting for this to dry before moving on. Oh, my camera's about to die. Joy, because I just fucking put the other battery on the charger because it was about to die. I don't know how that even happens. Okay, I went ahead and changed my clothes because while I was waiting for that to charge, I was bored, so I did that. And I'm going to use the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup Foundation in the shade 3.0. I guess I should shake it first. I rarely ever remember to do that. I'm applying it with the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. Yes, I like this one for thin foundations. So I got this um, coupon to get something like half off from Sephora. Okay, that's not like what it is. What it is is spend $50 and I can get $25 off. 
which I would spend exactly $50 and get half off. Um, but I really can't decide what I want to get. I think I kind of want the new Tarte. I don't even know what it's called. It's like an eyeshadow palette and it's like the pro Tartist. I'm not sure. It looks, it looks like a good palette and I've never tried any Tarte eyeshadows before. So I might end up getting that and if I do, then I'll do a look on it, most likely. I seen that Smashbox is coming out with new little palette things and I swear to God, okay, like every, every Smashbox palette on Sephora's website has bad reviews. Like, I'm pretty sure, except for like one, baby one, like a tiny mini one. But I feel like they all have not that great of reviews. It makes me not ever want to buy anything from them. But I have a little duo eyeshadow thing from them. And I thought it was really good and I liked it. And I almost bought the full palette until I went and seen that people weren't giving <sighs> the Smashbox fucking eyeshadows very good reviews. I don't know. But I was thinking about getting one of them new palettes. But now I'm just like very unsure about it. I think my earring hole is like fucking infected. This one with the Ouija thing in it. Because... It fucking hurts and I don't know why because this thing isn't doing anything. It's not moving around. I'm not sure. I think that my, I don't know. It makes no sense. I know that I'm allergic to these kind of earrings, the like fake metal ones, but I had it in this ear and it was perfectly fine. And then when I put it in my tragus, it freaking hurts. Okay, for concealer, I want to use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Fair. I haven't used this one very much because it's like really new, but I love this concealer. It's real good. So I love this concealer because I feel like it like blends out faster than any concealer that I have. It takes like two seconds and then it's done. I'm using this sponge, not even wet. It's like slightly damp because it seems to never dry for some reason, but I don't know. It works fine dryish and wet, so I don't really care. Okay, I'm gonna use a Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade Transparent and set my forehead so it does not crease. And then I'm gonna use my NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder in the shade Translucent, I think. <laughs> and set under my eyes. More like baking under the eyes. Every time, okay, I love using the Maybelline powder for under my eyes, but it might look a little dry. And I feel like that might be happening, but then again, maybe so does this, and I just don't notice. Could be because it's like fucking winter outside, which pisses me off, I swear to God. I never see sunlight anymore, and it's really annoying. I'm gonna set the rest of my face with this Rimmel powder real quick. My freaking ear hurts, my freaking mouth hurts. I just like to complain basically. This might be looking a little fucking, um, in between my eyebrows, shit always looks like it's breaking up. Shit meaning foundation always looks like it's breaking up right there. Okay, I'm gonna wipe away this excess powder here all over the face. Okay, for contouring, I have something new I wanna try. This is the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder in the shade Lighter Skin. No, in the shade Natural. I don't know, it says Lighter Skin right here. I guess that, that would mean this one is a lighter one, which makes sense because that's why I bought it, because it looks like a very light, nice color. It smells like, it smells interesting. It smells like suntan lotion or something. I have yet to use it. I think I swatched it and it's a very light killer. So we're gonna see if it even shows up on my face at the moment. I might have to try it whenever I'm even paler. <laughs> oh, it kind of is. I see it now. I like colors that are really light like this because then I can just like put a darker color on to build the deepness of it. But I, I'm thinking that the, the using a lighter shade really just helps it look more blended nicely than whenever I start with a darker shade. This brush is never endlessly shedding. At some point it's probably gonna have like no bristles and I'm just gonna be rubbing the handle on my skin. Okay, there's a lot of powder kick up from this bronzer. I can tell you that much. I kind of like that. Hmm. I bet I would like it even more if I was even paler, but it looks good. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzer in the shade St. Lucia. I'm going to use this bronzer right here, which is super dark. We're going to deepen up the cheeks with it. I hate wearing my clothes while I'm doing things with powder. I feel like it gets all over them. And it's gonna make them look bad. Okay, for blush, my fucking hair. Okay, for blush, I want to use the Tarte Colored Clay Bronzer Blush in the shade Pink Bronze because I like this thingy. It's a real nice blush. You gotta like dig into it for anything to show up, but it's real nice. Whenever I was looking into getting this blush, 
I was reading the reviews and a lot of people were saying like it doesn't show up and it has no color payoff but I'm like what like it definitely does I know you can see what's on my cheeks right now so I don't know why they were saying that okay for highlighter I'm gonna use the makeup geek highlighter in the shade daybreak I like this a lot it actually looks pretty damn good on the cheeks for someone who's not that tan because I mean it looks super orange in the pan but when I put it on my cheekbones it comes off very light like see still very highlighty it has like a really i don't even know like a slight orangey undertone but a really silvery shift why can't i say that silvery shift to jesus why can't i fucking move this chair though what is happening okay i feel like i got powder in my eyebrows so this is the time where i'm gonna go over them again with this marker okay i think i'm gonna do the bottom of my eyes too close before i do my freckles okay so i'm gonna use a maybelline eye studio gel eyeliner in the black one and use this with a pencil and dip it in there and put it in my waterline and i'm gonna take that same shade the only shade that i used on my eyes and put that underneath of my eye and just make it all blown out and bronzy under there mother i swear to god every time i look for this highlighter i pull out every other shade before i find it I'm going to take that same highlighter I was just using and put it on my inner corners. And then for mascara, of course, I'm going to use the Essence Lash Princess Mascara for my bottom lashes because this is all I ever use. Oh my god. Do you see all that mascara in my eyeball right now? That looks fucking creepy. Just go away. I feel like my top lashes need more mascara on them. So I'm going to try using this Ulta Plush Droma Volume Mascara. The fucking wand is ginormous. I've used this, I think, one other time. I think it came in like a big sample thing. I'm gonna try to add some volume here. Okay, while I have you up close, I'm gonna go ahead and do these uh, freckles. I did them recently in another video, so it's not like that big of a deal, but I'm gonna use the BH Cosmetics 10 color palette camouflage concealer thing. And I'm gonna use these three shades and just dip this fucking sponge in them that I rarely ever clean because I don't clean anything. I just kind of tap it on the back of my hand to get the excess off and I just go ham. I really definitely should probably get something that is less fucking dry than these because oh my god they <laughs> I think they're becoming more shitty every time I use them and they make my freckles look bad. I want to get the elf like foundation palette thing and a little square of them and I bet that that would work really good for freckles. I had my friend Bridget get that for her to use for freckles because she didn't want to buy this BH Cosmetics Concealer Palette. Now I'm going to take my NYX um, eyebrow marker in the shade medium and just put big old freckles everywhere. I'm going to use the RCMA No Color Powder and just try to lightly set these frecks. These frecks I just laid down. Okay, so I'm done with everything basically except for my lips. Now I'm gonna use the Lix Liquid. The what? What the fuck did I just say? I'm gonna use the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the shade Sandstorm on my lips. My leg is so numb and it hurts from me sitting on it. Okay, I just remembered that somebody once asked me to show you how I do my fucking messy bun, which is a fucking mess. Um, so I'll just include it in this video for the hell of it. So this normally looks a lot better if my hair is like freshly washed for some reason, but it is it's definitely not right now. So I'm gonna try to comb through it first. Ow. Oh my god, that fucking hurts. My stomach is actually growling so loud what the fuck okay so um i can't fucking find the thing that i normally use to do this where the fuck i don't know it might be in the car i think actually maybe i think it is in the car no it's not i don't remember bringing it in so i'm gonna assume it's in my car what i do is just put these pieces down because they are shorter and then the rest of my hair and then i bring the rest of it up and then like this is what i do does, does this show you anything I go like this and i go like this and then it does something weird like that and then i just pull out these pieces like such and there you have it um 
normally I have this thing that I got from Walmart. It's like a twisty spiral thing. I wish I had it right here. Maybe I'll like insert a picture and like I just spiral it in here to hold my bun up on the top part of my head so it doesn't like fall backwards. But yeah, that's all I do. And I would normally straighten these pieces, but since my camera's about to overheat, I'm gonna do that off camera and I'll be back in a second. Okay, I have fucking lipstick on my teeth. So if that has been there at all, just ignore it. So yeah, that's all for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll be back soon with more videos. Thanks for watching, bye.